Hey, what's up you guys? You're watching Team APS, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how do you handle winning and losing? Um, because this is actually a really spicy topic in Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, everybody says that Yu-Gi-Oh! is one of those games that's just full of salt, which I guess it is. Like, people get really angry about losing, people get really mad about getting sacked, or feeling like they got cheated, or sharked, or stacked, or any number of things. There's like loads of anger in Yu-Gi-Oh! And you see it from like people who win, you see it from people who lose, and it just feels like it's like everywhere. So, um, I wanna know how do you guys handle winning and losing? Because how you win is, like how you act when you win is sort of just as important as how you act when you lose. So we'll start with the easier one. Um, when people lose, obviously, um, salt. Uh, people are not happy. It's usually either the silent salt, where you know, you just don't say anything, pick up your stuff, leave. Or there's a more verbal salt where you either attack the other person, not usually physically, that's rare, but it can happen too. Usually, you know, you tell the other person, oh, you only won because your deck was good. Oh, you know, you, if I had drawn this card, oh, you only won because you drew this, you know, blah, 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 blah. I don't like that reaction. Um, people who've played me um, in real life, I guess not really anybody who's watching this video, but maybe. People who've played me in real life know that I am a very nearly emotionless person while I play. While I, when I'm winning, when I'm losing, when I win, when I lose, I like very rarely even change my expression at all. So I mean, I really feel like that's kind of how people need to act in Yu-Gi-Oh, but I don't really think that they do. Um, I just see a lot of like rage and anger and gossip behind people's backs when you know, they lose to somebody, or just accusations, the if game. That's a horrible way to lose. In Yu-Gi-Oh, you really need to just sort of chill out, accept the fact that it's a card game and you really do win some and lose some. Like, sort of, I try to view it like sort of mathematically or whatever, or just rationally. You cannot win every game. If you win every single game you play, then you're probably cheating. So, you know, like the best players like Patrick Hoban and players like that, they lose games. They probably get really angry at themselves when they do. I've seen it. But um, yeah, I mean, like when you win, it's good. But when you lose, it's fine, too. And I'm not even saying it in like a cheesy, like oh, it's a learning experience way. You know, you win some, you lose some. But you really do win some and you lose some. Like that's just how you get works. You don't win every game. And so when I lose, I just sort of try to see it as like, oh, okay, well, that's my one loss for however many wins that maybe I got. So it's easier to look at it that way. And I don't really mind losing to people. I don't actually mind losing to arrogant people either, though that I know is a little bit more testing <laughs> um, on people's patience and tempers when like you lose to somebody who's been trash talking or someone who's disrespectful or just somebody you don't like, that's annoying. But I don't really see where all the salt comes from. Um, I, I just don't think that, I think that there are more concerning things to get mad about than like losing in Yu-Gi-Oh. Now let's get to winning. Winning is actually something that, it's usually easier to do. Like sometimes you can just win, handshake, pick up stuff, leave. Some people though, win, talk trash, laugh, and all that other stuff, and that makes people really mad. So like if you're a bad winner, it's almost as bad as being a sore loser. So um... You know, how do you act when you win? Like I said, when I win, it's very, very, like, nonchalant, pretty stoic. I don't really care. I just, you know, good game, handshake, pick up stuff, leave. I don't, like, I don't really care. If they ask me for, you know, like, advice, which people should do more, no one ever does that, but I love when people ask me, like, after a game, whether I won or lost, what they could have done better, because I love, like, sharing my thoughts on that, but most people don't do that, so, um... If they ask me for like, you know, where did I mess up or what mistakes did I make, I'll usually tell them and then I got a jet. Like, I don't, I don't like to really linger. I know it's like when people lose, no one wants the person who they lost to to sort of be hanging around. That's usually not what they want. So I try to be respectful to the people who lose. I try to consider how I would feel if I'd lost and that I usually would not want the person I just lost to just hang around talking to me. So I just get up and go. And, um... It's kind of the same thing when I lose. Like, I know that the person who won, it's kind of awkward for them if the person that they just beat just sort of hangs around being mopey and depressed. So when I lose, I just get up and go too. So um, my question is, how do you guys deal with winning or losing? Better yet, maybe the better question is, 
how do you deal with people who don't deal with winning and losing very well? So when you beat someone and they get salty and start raging and play the if game and attack you and all this stuff, how do you deal with it? Uh, do you argue back? Do you, you know, politely argue back? Do you just leave? I just leave. And when you win, uh, or sorry, when you lose and the person who beats you talks trash and, you know, things like that, how do you react to them then? Um, they're talking down to you, they're laughing in your face, all this stuff. Um, I know players who are just really bad about that, so. Uh, how do you act when you're winning? How do you act when you're losing? And how do you act when you're faced with one or the other, like, from your opponent? So, I thought that'd be an interesting thing to talk about, because Yu-Gi-Oh, for some reason, is just known as the saltiest of the card games, so. Um, thought it'd be kind of a relevant topic to talk about. So anyway, that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a like and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, and check me out on Facebook and Twitter. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.